In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import a STL file and uh, bring it into your uh, your design and then save it as your own file. All right. So in Google Classroom, I have let me bring that up real quick. I have some STL files that I have uh, attached. So let's go ahead and open one of those. It'll say no preview available, which is fine because we're just going to download it anyway. So we download it. Now we can go back into Tinkercad. We go to import, so right up here, and you're going to choose your file. Okay. You'll get a pop-up window. Obviously, if you're on a Chromebook, it may look a little different. Um, I have mine uh, downloaded, so I'll go right here to Kitchen Lower, which is what I just downloaded. So go to your Downloads folder, find the file that you just downloaded, hit Open, and then you will hit Import. So that will come in. It's probably going to be pretty big at first, which is completely fine. Just waiting for it to load. Did it look? Ah, there it is, right in the middle. Right here. So we're going to bring that out over here. Let's zoom in on it so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So this is the kitchen lower cabinet that I just made for you guys. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab that. I'm going to bring it into the kitchen. I know it's kind of a funny color right now, but I don't really care about the color. I'm going to rotate it the 90 degrees that I need. I'm going to place it where I want it. Let's change the snap grid here so we can really fine tune those movements. I'm going to lift it up, get it onto the correct work plane. Make sure it's the right depth which anywhere between 0.8 and 1 would be the correct depth, which is good. So that's where we want it there. And then let's move it over to where it's lined up with that wall. And that would be your lower cabinet. You want the height. Uh, the standard cabinet height is about... 28 inches, uh, which is just over two feet. So we're going to make it 1.1. Makes it a little bit taller. So it will look like that. That looks a little too tall. Let's go ahead and lower that back down. I kind of like the way it looked in the first place. There we go. There is a lower cabinet. Pretty easy. Okay. And if you want to save that as your own file, again, go to uh, Tinkercad, or the uh, Tinkercad Basic Shapes menu here. <clears throat> Click on that, it'll drop down and say Shapes Selection. Obviously, I made it, so I ha already have it. But if I wanted to save this one, I'm going to click Generate, sh or Create Shape. There's my shape right there. You do not want to lock the size. And then label it. And then I need to label it something else because I already have a kitchen kitchen lower. There you go. And then you hit save shape. And it will pop up right there. The nice thing is that you can go through and change the color to whatever you want it to be. That way it's not this weird, like, olive green tan color. Um, so you can change that to whatever you want it to be. Kind of cool. Um but it'll make it really easy for you to load that stuff in there uh, and you can resize it to fit wherever you need it to fit. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you guys the toilet, kitchen uppers. Uh, I've already made a fridge. I just haven't saved it yet for you guys. Um, all kinds of stuff. If you want to make your own, you can. But I figured I'd give you guys uh, some easy ones. I highly recommend going through and making some doors and windows so you can put those in your house as well. All right, that's what I got for you. Uh, hopefully you learned something, and good luck.